fire broke out at a carport in Hyde Park early this morning, damaging several cars. The flames came dangerously close to two apartment buildings as well, but it was eventually knocked down. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live on West 59th Street near 8th Avenue with a look at all the damage. Good morning, Joy. Good morning, Amy. Yeah, certainly a startling morning for many people who live here in this community, and it's easy to see why, as you can clearly see the damage left behind by what was a very large fire out here this morning. Numerous cars were damaged as these two carports caught fire and, of course, burned to the ground. But, of course, the concern is now over here on the left-hand side, and that is because it does appear that the roof of the building nearby is still smoking and smoldering. The Los Angeles Fire Department just got here, and they're going to look into that. But take a look at this video from earlier this morning, first captured on social media as the flames certainly exploded here. It all happened just after midnight. That's when the fire department got the call that there was a fire here at this carport. And I'm not sure if we have other video as well, but nonetheless, it was an alarming night for many here. As firefighters responded, they were able to contain the carport fire in under 30 minutes, which is certainly good news. But it does appear that there are numerous cars that were damaged. There was also about 100 windows that were broken as this takes place in between two buildings and the heat and the smoke from the fire on the carport certainly extended to both of those buildings on both sides, which is certainly alarming for those who live here. And there is a lot of damage now back out here live. As I mentioned, the Los Angeles Fire Department just responding a second time because it does appear there is some smoldering up there on the rooftop. So they are going to look into that and make sure that there isn't a fire inside that roof that could spread to that building that hopefully it's just an ember or something that fell over there. But a lot of folks up early this morning as they've been up all night trying to figure out um, exactly what happened and how to stay safe. And uh, a lot of activity going on over here as I've kind of walked away from the photographer just so that you guys can see the scene and we can get out of their way. But it's a story we'll continue to follow throughout the morning, Amy, and keep you updated and to see exactly what happens with this fire as it does seem to have taken another turn. I'll send it back to you. All right.